Hello, Mercy. Hi, how are you? I'm great, all the better for seeing you. So this <laughs> memoir, throughout it, you seem very reluctant <laughs> to be writing this book. <laughs> <laughs> what what finally pushed you over the edge? What finally got you past the finish line? Do you know, I have been reluctant for many, many years. And I think due to various experiences, and I think I also had this thing about, you know, celebrities and a lot of the world that I've inhabited being a Spice Girl. I, all, I always saw these books as a bit of tabloid fodder as well. And that was something I really wanted to shy away from. And then... We, of course, had the pandemic and, you know, that was a moment of reflection and I'd been on stage with the Spice Girls in 2019. The stadium shows were incredible and it was a real moment of realisation of all the things that we'd achieved, how we'd impacted not only a generation of people, but further generations. And I just started to have this like real healing moment of seeing all these aspects of myself and accept, accepting them all and realizing I am all of these things and it's okay to be all of these things all of the time. But I think one of the great things I feel like really happy that I've left it this long is that there's been more to report. And I think also we all look back slightly differently now, you know, we reflect differently and having had those shows in 2019, it gave me an opportunity to talk about a chapter of the Spice Girls that hasn't been written about before. 